Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Saturday, January 25th of 2020. How hard is it for us to give up control of our lives? As a born-again Christian, this is exactly what Father God is asking of us. And in doing so, He has placed the chief cornerstone in our lives for a sure foundation. He's also given us the Holy Spirit who will always lead us into all truth. If we will just allow Him control, He will mold and shape each one of us into something beautiful. But we must remember, this is a process that will not be completed until Jesus returns. So today, this morning's prayer surveys the ongoing construction of God in us. Father, during this journey in the Spirit, we are all projects which are not yet completed. We all have a completion date officially, for it is appointed once for man to die. Are we truly trusting you, the architect and general contractor, the master builder, for the completion of your plan for each of us? Father, you have declared that you know the plans you have for us, to prosper us and not to harm us. Indeed, they are plans for a hope and an expected end. Please forgive us for resisting the change you bring to our lives, for you are the architect who has designed the perfect blueprint for each of us. We accept the stone that the other builders have rejected, who has become the chief cornerstone, and he is marvelous in our eyes. There is truly no other foundation than the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, the project that we are, our completion date, is the day of Christ Jesus. Oh, that we would not resist the remodeling you desire in us, but that we would embrace the plan which transforms us into new creatures, so now all things are of you. Show us how to embrace the changes you desire to make in us, that we would grow stronger through the process. It's been said before, change is inevitable, but growth is optional. May we embrace the growth you have planned for us and fulfill the destiny especially designed for us. Father, you have the perfect blueprint for each project you undertake. May we trust in this perfect plan, keeping in constant contact with you, the general contractor, so the project reflects all of your finishing touches. Oh, it's in the name of Jesus that we ask all these things this morning. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.